Tanzania's richest families are a well-guarded secret, their wealth and influence hidden from public view. Yet, their impact on the country's economy is undeniable. The Shag family, for instance, discreetly controls a significant stake in Tanzania's largest private bank, CRDB, while the Sharima clan has amassed a fortune through their ownership of Precision Air, one of the nation's top airlines. Meanwhile, the Abdul family's wealth is largely attributed to the global success of musical sensation Diamond Platinums, whose entrepreneurial ventures have propelled his family into the upper echelons of Tanzania's elite. These dynasties epitomize the untold stories of Tanzania's most powerful players, whose quiet dominance shapes the country's financial and cultural landscape. Let's begin with the Shag family, a name that echoes throughout Tanzania's financial sector. What makes them so notable is their significant investments in CRDB Bank, Tanzania's largest private bank. The story begins in 1996 when the Tanzanian government privatized state-owned enterprises, paving the way for the creation of CRDB Bank. It wasn't long before the bank attracted major investors, including leading Tanzanian pension funds and a Danish government-backed fund, which became its biggest shareholders. Fast forward to 2009 and the bank went public on the Dar es Salaam Stock Exchange, quickly amassing over 30,000 shareholders by the end of 2019. The Shag family's influence, however, doesn't stop there. They also own a considerable stake in NMB Bank, positioning themselves among the wealthiest families on the Dar es Salaam Stock Exchange. The cornerstone of their wealth is Patrick Shag's investments in both banks, with their assets estimated to exceed $10.9 million making them a financial powerhouse in Tanzania. Next, we have the Sharima family, who made their money by investing in an airline. This family's name resonates in Tanzania's business circles, and they've made a mark on the Dar es Salaam stock exchange. But what truly sets them apart is their major stake in Precision Air, one of the country's biggest privately owned airlines. At the heart of this success is Michael Sharima, the co-founder and current chairman of Precision Air, whose vision and leadership have driven the airline's growth and, in turn, the family's financial success. Today, the Sharima family's assets are estimated to be over $12.2 million, largely thanks to their significant stake in this thriving airline. Now, we have the Abdul family, which controls the entertainment sector in Tanzania, thanks to the success of their most famous member, Diamond Platinums. Born Nasib Abdul Juma. Diamond Platinums is more than just a musical sensation. He's the driving force behind his family's prominence and wealth. His cousin, the well-known DJ and socialite Romy Jones, and his sisters, singer Queen Darlene and entrepreneur Esma Platinums, all contribute to the family's reputation. Together, they are among Tanzania's richest entertainment families, with Diamond Platinums leading the way. Diamond isn't just a musician. He's an entrepreneur with multiple successful ventures under his belt, including Wasafi Bet, Wasafi Media, and WCB Wasafi Record Label. His pop popularity spans across East and Central Africa, and he made history as the first African artist to reach over a billion views on YouTube. The Abdul family's fortune extends far beyond their musical prowess. It is his sharp business acumen and diverse holdings that form the backbone of the family's wealth which is valued at over $12.6 million. Let's turn the spotlight on the Rajabali family, a name that carries significant weight in Tanzania's financial landscape. Known for their substantial investments across various sectors, the Rajabali family holds major stakes in both the Dar es Salaam Stock Exchange and CRDB Bank. They are also involved in Plasco Limited, adding another layer to their diverse portfolio. At the core of the family's wealth are brothers Onali and Sajad Rajabali, whose strategic investments in CRDB Bank and the Stock Exchange have been the main drivers of their financial success. Altogether, their assets are estimated to be over $16.1 million, making them one of the more prominent families in Tanzania's business world. Next, we have the Chen family, a name that has long been associated with Tanzanian politics and public life. At the center of it all is Andrew Chen, a well-known figure who has played a significant role in shaping the country's political landscape. His career saw a major milestone in 2006 when he became Tanzania's first Minister of East African Affairs, 
following his tenure as Attorney General. Later that same year, he took on the role of Minister of Infrastructure, serving until early 2008. However, his political journey took a turn when he resigned in April 2008 following revelations by the UK's serious fraud office that he had about $1 million in an offshore account, funds allegedly linked to a controversial military radar deal with BAE Systems during his time as Attorney General. Despite the controversy, the Chen family's wealth is largely attributed to Andrew Chen's offshore investments, which are estimated to be worth over $17 million. This financial clout has kept the Chen family in the spotlight in Tanzania, underscoring the influence that powerful political dynasties can wield in the country. In contrast, the Rajabali family's wealth is rooted in their strategic investments in the financial sector. By holding significant stakes in Tanzania's premier banking institution, CRDB, and actively participating in the country's stock exchange, the Rajabalis have positioned themselves as key players in the nation's economic landscape. Their ability to identify and capitalize on lucrative opportunities has been a hallmark of their success. The Manik family. Yogesh Manik is a name that stands out in Tanzania's business world. Back in 1980, he established the Mac Group, which has grown into a powerhouse in various sectors. The crown jewel of his business empire is Exim Bank, which ranks among the top three banks in Tanzania in terms of both customers and assets. But that's not all. Manik's portfolio also includes Heritage Insurance, a major player in the insurance industry, and Strategist, Tanzania's leading health maintenance organization. Thanks to these strategic ventures, the Manik family's wealth is estimated to exceed $22 million, cementing their status as one of the country's prominent business families. The Manik family's success is rooted in their ability to identify and capitalize on lucrative opportunities, particularly in the banking and insurance sectors. Yogesh Manik's visionary leadership has transformed the Mac Group into a diversified conglomerate, with Exim Bank and Heritage Insurance serving as the family's crown jewels. This diversification has allowed the Manics to weather economic fluctuations and maintain their dominance in the Tanzanian business arena. The Abud Family The Abud family has made quite a name for themselves in Tanzania, thanks to Abdulaziz Abud, a prominent politician who has been serving as a member of parliament since 2010. Beyond his political career, Abdulaziz Abud is known for his extensive offshore investments and accounts, which are the primary source of the family's wealth. With these holdings, the Abud family's assets are estimated to be over $24 million, placing them among the more affluent families in the country. While his political career has brought him prominence, it is his financial savvy that has truly cemented the family's status as one of the wealthiest in Tanzania. The Zakaria Family The Zakaria family has firmly established itself as one of Tanzania's most prominent and affluent families, known for their strong business acumen. The family's success is closely tied to Mirza Oil Mills Limited, a leading player in the edible oil and soap industry. This thriving enterprise owes much of its growth to the vision and expertise of the Zakaria brothers, Abdul and the late Harun Zakaria, who have steered the company to new heights. Under their guidance, Mirza Oil Mills has become a major force in producing edible oils, toilet and laundry soaps, margarine, and sunflower oil extraction. The Zakaria family's wealth, fueled by these ventures, is estimated to exceed $30 million, solidifying their status as a powerhouse in Tanzania's industrial sector. The Zakaria family's success, however, is rooted in their deep understanding of the industrial sector. Through their ownership of Mirza Oil Mills, the Zakaria brothers have built a thriving enterprise that has become a household name in Tanzania. Their ability to identify and capitalize on emerging trends in the edible oil and soap industries has been the driving force behind the family's remarkable wealth and influence. The Patel Family The Patel family has made quite a name for themselves in Tanzania's transportation sector. They are the force behind Bulk Distributors Limited, one of the country's biggest companies specializing in vehicle maintenance and distribution. This thriving enterprise is largely the result of Jay Patel's strategic investments in leadership, which have driven its growth and success. Thanks to their significant stake in Bulk Distributors Limited, the Patel family's wealth is estimated to surpass $46 million, making them a powerful presence in Tanzania's business landscape.
the Patel family's success is closely tied to their dominance in the transportation sector. Through their ownership of Bulk Distributors Limited, they have established themselves as a major player in vehicle maintenance and distribution, a critical industry in a country like Tanzania. The Abbas family. The Abbas family holds a significant place among Tanzania's most influential circles, largely thanks to Tarima Abbas, who has made waves in the country's gaming industry. As the director general of Sport Pesa TMBA, he has been at the forefront of one of Tanzania's leading betting companies. His journey began as the director of national lotteries at the Ministry of Finance and Planning, later advancing to head the gaming board of Tanzania. It's his substantial stake in Sport Pisa that has cemented the Abbas family's reputation and wealth. With these strategic investments, the family's combined fortune is estimated to be around $57 million. The Abbas family's wealth is primarily attributed to their involvement in Tanzania's burgeoning gaming industry. Tarima Abbas's position as the Director General of Sport Pisa TMBA has enabled the family to capitalize on the rising popularity of sports betting in the country. This strategic investment has not only solidified the Abbas family's reputation, but also generated substantial wealth, making them one of the wealthiest families in Tanzania. The Embo Family The Embo family is a major name in Tanzania, thanks to Freeman Embo, a prominent politician and leading opposition figure. Recently, Freeman made headlines when he was detained along with other party members while organizing a rally charged with terrorism. He spent seven months in custody before his release. Despite these challenges, Freeman has continued to serve as a member of the National Assembly for the High District in the Kilimanjaro region since 2015. The family's significant wealth primarily comes from Freeman's offshore investments and assets, with their fortune estimated to be around $69 million. The Embo family's story, however, is a complex blend of political influence and financial acumen. Freeman Embo's role as a prominent opposition figure has thrust the family into the public spotlight, both for his political activism and the family's substantial offshore investments. Despite the challenges he has faced, including a lengthy detention, Freeman's continued service in the National Assembly and the family's significant wealth have allowed them to maintain their position as one of Tanzania's most influential dynasties. The Rathod Family the Rathod family has established itself as one of Tanzania's wealthiest and most influential families, largely due to their significant investment in Wimpless Limited. This company has carved out a niche for itself in the injection-molded plastic furniture market, offering a range of chairs and tables that boast cutting-edge European designs. Wimpless's products are renowned for their vibrant colors, ergonomic comfort, lightweight construction, termite resistance, and low maintenance costs, all at an affordable price point. This strategic focus on quality, innovation, and affordability has been a key driver of the company's success, which in turn has fueled the Rathod family's rise to prominence. The Turkey Family, Salim Turkey's entrepreneurial vision and strategic acumen were the driving forces behind the creation and growth of the Turkey Group of Companies, a sprawling conglomerate that spans an impressive 14 different industries, from healthcare and tourism to transportation, food and beverage, building materials, oil and gas, communications, engineering, cement production, and real estate. The Turkey Group's reach is truly extraordinary. Salim's remarkable foresight and innovative approach allowed him to build a business empire that has become synonymous with success and influence in Tanzania. His ability to identify and capitalize on emerging opportunities across multiple sectors has cemented the Turkey Group's status as a dominant player in the country's economy. Today, the family's extensive business operations are managed by Salim's sons, Tui and Abdallah, who have seamlessly stepped into the roles of CEO and ex-executive director, respectively. They oversee the group's operations across Tanzania's mainland, Zanzibar, and the Koros Islands, ensuring the continued growth and prosperity of the family's expansive enterprise. Complementing the family's business prowess is Salim's daughter, Kayam, who has carved out her own niche in the fashion and cosmetics industry, further diversifying the Turkey family's commercial interests. The bulk of the family's impressive wealth 
estimated at over $93 million, is a direct reflection of Salim Turkey's visionary leadership and strategic investments across the Turkey Group's diverse portfolio. This remarkable achievement serves as a testament to the family's entrepreneurial spirit, adaptability, and dedication to excellence. As Tanzania's economy continues to evolve, the Turkey family's influence is poised to remain a driving force. Their ability to identify and capitalize on emerging trends, coupled with their commitment to expanding and diversifying their business interests, positions them as a formidable dynasty in the country's commercial landscape. The Somaya family. The Somaya family has emerged as a major player in Tanzania's thriving business scene, thanks to their significant involvement with Shivam. Established in 2000, Shivam Tanzania Limited has become a key provider of services across the country, operating as part of the larger Shivam Group. Under the Somaya family stewardship, Shivam has diversified its operations, expanding into a wide range of sectors, including investment, real estate, top-tier automobile contracting, security solutions, and software development. This strategic diversification has not only strengthened the company's position, but has also allowed the Somaya family to capitalize on emerging opportunities and solidify their influence in Tanzania's dynamic business landscape. The family's substantial wealth, estimated to exceed $97 million, is largely attributed to the prominent role and strategic investments of Tan El Saya, a driving force behind Shivam's remarkable growth and success. The Loasa family. The Loasa family is a prominent name in Tanzania, largely due to Edward Loasa, a well-known political figure. Edward's career took off when he served as Minister of State in the Prime Minister's office during President Ali Hassan Mwinyi's second term in 1995. Despite facing setbacks, such as being disqualified from the presidential nomination by former President Julius Nyerere, Edward continued to build his influence as a key backbencher in the House of Representatives. By 1997, he had risen to become the Minister for State in the Vice President's Office for Environment and Poverty. The family's impressive wealth, estimated at over $120 million, primarily comes from Edward Lawasa's offshore investments and assets. The Canabar family. The Canabar family stands out as one of Tanzania's most affluent and influential families, thanks to their significant investments in the signage group of companies. This diverse conglomerate specializes in recycling batteries, smelting, and manufacturing lead, providing logistic support, and dealing in commercial real estate and warehouses. The bulk of the Canabar family's wealth, estimated at around $390 million, is tied to Sheer Canabar's substantial stake in Synage, showcasing their financial reach and impact. These families, along with the Muhammad, Awad, Patel, Mangi, Baka, Aziz, Mani, and Rashid families represent the titans of Tanzanian tycoons, each with their unique stories of success, innovation, and unwavering ambition. Their investments span a wide range of industries, from telecommunications and transportation to manufacturing, real estate, and beyond, demonstrating the breadth and depth of their influence. The common thread among these dynasties is their unwavering commitment to diversifying their investments and seizing strategic opportunities. Rather than putting all their eggs in one basket, these families have wisely spread their wealth across multiple sectors, ensuring their long-term prosperity and the stability of the Tanzanian economy. These titans of industry are not merely passive investors. They are active participants in shaping the nation's economic landscape. Their visionary leadership, entrepreneurial spirit, and dedication to innovation have propelled Tanzania's development, creating jobs, driving technological advancements, and fostering a climate of prosperity. As Tanzania continues to evolve and grow, the influence of these families will undoubtedly continue to shape the country's future. Their legacies serve as a testament to the power of strategic thinking, calculated risk-taking, and a relentless pursuit of excellence, qualities that have elevated them to the pinnacles of wealth and prestige in Tanzanian society. Thanks for watching this till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like as well as a sub so more people can see this.